All right, for you vintage toy lovers, we have some um, musical wind-up toys throughout all the 80s here. Uh, each one is about eh, four or five inches, maybe six inches tall. You get an idea right there. We'll give you a size across the bottom just in case. And we'll give you an overall view of them, front and back. Each is a different style, type, uh, manufacturer, year, etc. But you're going to get them all in one grouping. So we're going to start off with uh, 1988. Well, they're all making noises now. This is the Kitty Craft Singing Cat Clock. Very fun piece right here. And you can tell already he's starting to make some noise. So I'm going to show you something that we can't show you in the catalog. That's that he works. I shouldn't have wound him up that much because he's going to keep playing. You can see what happens is as he winds down, the hands on the clock will move around. They move together in conjunction. His eyes move, the hands move, and the cat head pops on out. We'll give him just a little bit more so you can see. And he's doing some hickory dickory dock, although a little bit slow. I think that... Uh, Spring has begun to wind down a little bit, but you can see it right there, and it's doing fantastic. Any kid would have loved this in the 80s. Any collector is going to love it now. And we'll show you the information there on the screen. You can see Kitty Craft 1988 made far, far away in Malaysia. Let's move on to the next one. This is the Almat Clown. As you can see right here. Oh. Told you I wound him up too much, so now he's going to keep playing. And this one, what does he do? Let's find out. Oh. The clown freaks everybody out by looking side to side and playing Frere Jaca. You can see all the way around on him. Now, I do want to point out, he does come with this. This is often missing, often chewed by the dog. Looks like it has been a little bit. It's split, but it is still there. It is still present. Oh, is it slipping or is it just as it winds down? And you can see there the manufacturer's mark, the maker's mark, Almat, Almat, however you choose to pronounce it. Looking pretty good. A little bit of wear on the nose there, but not too much other paint loss before we move on to the final piece in this group. This is, let's get them wound up. This is Peekaboo Elmo. Made by Ilco. I think this one's going a little bit too fast. Perhaps the, uh, oh, what's going on with the foot here? Should this be tapping? Let's find out. Yeah, I don't know if that foot should be tapping or not, but it does not appear to me. Perhaps it's just slipped the gear and it's missing. Perhaps it's not supposed to do it at all. But you can see he's playing peekaboo. Eyes go up and down. Feet move, hands, well, foot moves at least. Hands moving. Are both the ears moving? I think they are. So all around a nice little grouping. You're going to get all three of these. All in one lot, all for one money. All you have to do is head on over to thebigtoyauction.com where you can see these and all the other goodies we have for you this and every week. You can leave those pre-bids right now by pressing that button or join us live on auction day. Either way, we will see you at the auction.